on the blade part uh, about how I want it to look and stuff. So we're getting ready to pull it out. Um, I'll finish her off. See what you think. Uh, and we're going to straighten out our hole for the handle. And uh, then we'll, I uh, think we're going to call it good for tonight. But uh, tomorrow we'll get back at it again. It's uh, about five, quarter of five. So if you're keeping track of the time, how long it's taken. Um, about quarter of five. All right, here we go. Get that slag off of there. Okay. That's carbon coming out of the metal. stuff in there I'll have to fix that up but uh, it's going to be a hefty axe that's for sure it's got some weight to it so well put this back in and uh, straighten it out and then uh, finished thing I'll get back to you with show you the finished, uh, finished, well, not totally finished, but, uh, the, uh, the, um, what we're going to do tonight, just straighten it out and stuff, so, uh, I guess, uh, that being said, I'll see you in a little bit after I get this straightened out. Alright guys, there's our axe head. Um, show you a little bit here. Trying to hold. The, there's our hole. There's the head. Um, take and uh, let's see. I'm going to have to do some work, you know, I'll grind it and smooth it out and still good and hot. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to, I won't, uh, I won't um, cool it down, you know, by sticking it in the water like I said, because I don't want to, um, I don't want to harden it quite yet. I got I got a lot of stuff I got to do that yet. And uh, uh, sorry about all the movement. Um, and I don't want to 
don't want to harden it yet so so I think what we'll do is uh, all right guys um, cleaned up the axe head um, I wanted to apologize again last night um, memory card was full you got to see the finished kind of the finished thing I didn't get to say what I was saying there in the end because the the uh, that stinking memory card again um, got get some money here I want to try and get a bigger bigger card and stuff but uh, I want thought I'd show you this um, like I said I cleaned it up I uh, just got done doing that um, pretty warm yet but uh, this is what we came up with um, this uh, this here if I can do this hopefully you can see that all right this will be the top here you know right like that it'll go right like that good wide blade on it the back and you know the other side looks the same as the other side um, the one side is centered but the one side got a little more steel on it than the other um, you can probably see that in the hole there. The hole centered on the blade, but uh, it's a little bit off. This is a little bit heavier. I don't think it'll affect it any. Um, you know, I, I hope not, but I don't think so. I got my starter uh, blade on there, the sharp edge R tip. Uh, I got that started. Um, what we're the next process that we're gonna do is I'll take and put it in the forge, heat it up to uh, straw yellow a little little hotter. Um, then I'm gonna take and stick it in what they call a brine. Um, the old timers used to use this. Uh, it's a uh, kind of crazy it's salt water um, you don't think of salt and steel you know you think of the rust and everything but it actually doesn't I did that to my chisels and uh, you know it didn't make them rust um, so I don't know um, the old timers used to use that uh, and they also used to say that their quench bucket after it sat for a long time and was stagnant and stuff was actually better than the brine. Um, I can't do that because my quench bucket freezes on me so I can't you know can't do that the salt it's gonna just have to work for now. Um, what we'll do is we'll take and we'll put it in uh, in the forge, heat it up and then I'll take and I'll put it in the brine and what that'll do that'll harden it then what I'll do I'll submerge the whole thing into the brine and that'll harden it and then I'll take it back out I'll clean it up again then take and um, put after it's all cleaned up and stuff I'll put it back into the forge heat it back up to a straw yellow, take, submerge about half to three quarters of an inch in the front of the blade there. Um, up here, I'll submerge that part there in the brine. Then what will happen is I'll pull it out, I'll clean it up quick, and then I'll allow the heat to transfer from the back of the the head forward up into the tip when that gets like a straw yellow I'll submerge the whole thing and what that's done is tempered it softened it down some and uh, it's hard in the tip but yet it's softened it enough that it'll uh, you know be fairly easy to sharpen so 
that's kind of the process that we're going to go through here today. Um, I don't have a handle for it. So, it kind of stinks. I'm going to get it done. Not going to be able to go out and, and try it out right away. Um, hopefully I can get a handle before too long. When I do, put the handle on. I'll go out and we'll find a tree, a uh, dead tree somewhere, and we'll try her out. Um, see how it works for us. I'll take you along and uh, let you see that that whole thing. So I uh, just thought I'd show you this and show you where we're at right now. And uh, I guess with that being said, we'll get back uh, back at work in this. I, I might show you some of the process here um, as we go, um, like when I pull it out of the forge and submerge it and stuff like that. Um, I'll try and show you show you some things um, as we're going so all right see you in a bit